So good afternoon. Welcome back to another Premier League transfer update because believe it or not, the transfer window is open. There is 26 days left of the transfer window. I'm going to give you the totalizer amount in a minute, which may or may not shock you in the height of a pandemic. Um, but before I do that and before I get into talking about some of the stories I want to speak about, uh, make sure you stick a thumbs up on the video. Make sure you subscribe as well. And don't forget, um, if the Abamian deal is announced today, I will be straight back live. Uh, failing that, I will be doing a press conference reaction at about six o'clock. And then I'll be back with a preview for the Fulham game tomorrow and uh, giving you my starting 11 for that as well. Uh, if you haven't followed my Insta, Lee Gunner 82, link is in the description. Uh, with player ratings this season, yeah, we're doing it slightly differently. Um, obviously, we're on the Flick app. Make sure you go and follow that. It's like a big chat room and we can run polls and ask questions and do quizzes and stuff like that. Um, put news articles and stories and pictures, etc. It's like a WhatsApp group, basically. Uh, but with player ratings uh, this season for every game, I'm going to get you guys to decide the player ratings via that app. Um, and then I'll be doing the player ratings on the video off of what you're saying the player rating should be if that made any sense whatsoever. Uh, but let's start off with Chelsea. Um, Chelsea leading the way, showing everyone else in the league how it's done. Be ruthless in the market. There is a big market out there, believe it or not, despite um, popular belief that nobody was going to spend any money this summer, um, despite the fact that it's a global pandemic and it's going to be uh, a more creative transfer window with more loan signings and swap deals. Uh, well, that doesn't seem to be the case for pretty much every team. Uh, the actual totalizer as it stands right now with um, 26 days left of this transfer window stands at £775 million spent by the 20 Premier League sides. Uh, comparison to last summer, £1.6 billion. So, it's, uh, it's still a way to go before it hits the 1.6 billion of last summer. But there is still three weeks of this transfer window to go. And I fully expect that to be well over a billion pounds um, by the end of this transfer window. I'd say maybe about 1.3, 1.4 perhaps. I don't think it hit 1.6. But there is still a lot of deals to go through. Uh, we're going to come on to some of them in a minute. Uh, but um, as you can see on the screen, Fabrizio Romano's tweet um, in regards to Chelsea... Edward uh, Eduard Mendy, the Rennes goalkeeper, new bid submitted. That was three hours ago, as you can see um, in the last couple of hours. The club are confident to compete the, uh, complete the deal in the next few hours. Personal terms already agreed. He's pushing to leave and join Chelsea, and it's getting closer. He then continues on, and this is where it gets interesting. You scroll further down, you read it, and it says... Final decision is now up to Wren President. Mendy wants to join Chelsea and the club are trying to make it happen. That's why Lampard decided to keep silent about the deal in respect to Wren. After signing a new goalkeeper, Chelsea will consider a move for Declan Rice. Chelsea ain't mucking about. Yeah, real talk. They are not ramping. Yeah, they want the title. And uh, I'll tell you what, fair play to them. Because they're acting like a big club. They're acting like a club that want to improve. They're backing their manager, which is something that we're not doing. And um, they're, they're trying to improve their squad. There's a lot of pressure on Frank Lampard now after all this money being spent. But on the flip side of that, um, if you compare it out, they haven't spent for two transfer windows. So if you add in the 100 million for Eden Hazard, if you add in the 50 million for Morata, they've got, what, two thirds of their money back that they've spent already just in them two deals if you take it as an overall figure. Um, so they haven't actually spent as much as people think they have when you look at how much they've recouped. So, yeah, man, it's, uh, it's kind of upsetting and <laughs> making me jealous when I, every time I see one of Fabrizio's tweets, it's in regards to another team signing a player and not Arsenal signing a player. Uh, but uh, let's do away with that and we'll go full screen for a second. Uh, let's move on to, um, to another player. And that is Jaden Sancho. And uh, Jaden Sancho's £120 million move in the height of a pandemic um, is edging ever closer. That looks like it's going to be completed. I always knew they were going to sign him. I think every Man United fan knew that he was going to sign. It was just a case of 
how they structure the payments. Dortmund wanted a certain amount up front. Man United have apparently reached that. And uh, that deal is going to be uh, going to be speeding up and gathering pace over the next um, 72 hours or so. I'd imagine that we might see that go through next week. And um, that's a big deal. It's a big signing for them. You know, they've um, they've already got Donny van der Beek in. They've done 40 million quid on him. They're going to do 120 on Jaden Sancho. They've already got um, Fernandez. They've got Martial. They've got Rashford. They've got Greenwood. They've got a decent attack line if they drop Sancho in it as well. Uh, defensively, I'm still not sure about United. Uh, but uh, uh, left back, somebody we were apparently linked to, uh, the Real Madrid left back, on, he was on loan at Sevilla last season. And um, that's somebody that uh, they're looking at. By the end of this window, I think Man United would have probably done close to 200 million quid. And uh, again, another club that are going to try it and kick on to the title. Um, I don't think they'll have enough, uh, especially defensively. But what does that mean for us? I hear you cry because uh, this man um, looks very glum and uh, I'm going to go through his uh, press conference a little bit later with a fine tooth comb and um, we're going to uh, we're going to see what he was saying about transfers what he was saying about the players etc cetera, etc cetera, that we've got um, it must be uh, it must be frustrating for him as well as us I'm fuming real talk uh, you could probably tell by the, uh, the streams I've done this week absolutely fuming that this club has let me down again and um, as it stands, it's letting him down. And I don't blame him at all for this transfer window. He ain't the owner. He ain't the board. He ain't the technical director. Um, he's not running the club like a previous manager used to do. So you can't pin the blame on him. I just want I just want to see some players, man. These players that we've got are just not good enough. But listen, um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Leave it all down there. Instagram is leegunner 82 and don't forget, follow Flick. Um, like I said, a lot of stuff's going to be going on on that app this season. So I can get you guys more involved in it as well with your player ratings. And uh, I'll be doing my player ratings off of your say-so. So whatever you guys vote for, um, yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be doing it that way. And uh, I'll do a poll on every single player at the end of the game. And um, you, can pick your, uh, you can pick your rating. So... So, yeah, let me know um, what you think to uh, the players we've just spoke about, Declan Rice, Eduard Mendy and Jaden Sancho. Um, I will be back if Aubameyang is announced real quick. Um, I'll be live as soon as that's dropped. Failing that, about 6 o'clock tonight, I'll be back with a um, press conference reaction and then a preview at 9 o'clock tonight. So, all have a wonderful day. Laters, peeps.